Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of AirTube and this person here needs no introduction. Um, very much the channel favourite and regular now, Pearl. Yeah, I'm, I'm so honoured. It's great to be here. I'm so um, really excited. Pearl's back for 2021 and she feels like she needs a bit of a change. Yeah, so definitely. She, she's asked me to make her brunette. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so brunette we shall. Um, we're going to use a matrix colour sink to do that. And um, the reason why we're going to use colour sink, it's a semi-permanent colour. It will start to fade as we wash uh, a shampoo the hair. Because um, you need to factor in that sometimes clients may want a change. But I, um, I'm going to preempt that you probably want to go blonde um, yeah. again in the future. And to use permanent colour just makes our job that little bit harder. And, you know, unless you, for me, unless you're covering grey hair, there's no real need to use permanent colour. So we're going to use Matrix Colour Sync. Um, we will get great coverage, it will be nice and shiny, but we will get really nice even fading so that when Pearl returns sometime throughout 2021 and says, Adam, I want to be blonde, it's uh, going to make my job that little bit easier. What about your haircut? Tell us about your um, haircut last time. Pearl said the last yeah. one I gave her was a favourite. Yeah, it was my favourite of all time. Like I've never felt like so powerful and confident in my own skin and like any time I like woke up I didn't even have to style it and if I did style it it always looks like really good, good. And wash yeah, and wear wash and wear is the hair we like so um what I did different last time is I actually introduced some layering into Pearl's hair so she felt that it moved it was really easy it was wash and wear so we're going to actually be doing more of the same but we're going to make it more elaborate so we're actually going to leave the length almost exactly how it is and we're going to layer it even more so it's going to be fun. Awesome. Um, so we're going to colour Pearl's hair first so I'm going to wrap her up. Um, I'm going to head out the back, mix up some colour, we're going to come back, put it on and then I'll see you back in a sec. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, mix up some colour sink. I don't like to just squeeze out of a tube and just I like to formulate my own stuff. So we have um, 30 grams of 8P, 10 grams of 3VV, and 30 grams of 5N. And 10 bowl. I want the root to intentionally be darker and go wider towards the ends. Obviously I'm gonna start on the root area because I want that to be dark first, but my processing time will actually start from when um, I've got it on the entire root area, which will be uh, 20 minutes from then. Then we rinse it all off. We're back here for the haircut after that. Pearl embarks on temporary being a light brunette or a dark blonde. Hey? Yeah. Something um, exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. I'm nervous. So it's like, um, I won't recognize myself, but it'll be like a good, like, surprise. Like, who is she? I don't know. I can reinvent myself. It's good. Okay, colours on, uh, onto the roots first, so you can see I've taken it onto the ends. Uh, timing started uh, in approximately now ooh, 17 minutes. Um, we'll be rinsing this off, and then when we see this again, we'll be starting Pearl's haircut. Ooh, see you soon. Okay, back from the basin. Um, I'm cutting Pearl's hair dry today, so I'm just going to use some of the smooth setter um, just to prep. So it's going to pop that in the ends, um, then I'm going to wrap dry the hair. Almost slightly mushroom, isn't it? Yeah. Can you feel that, like the grayness in it? Yeah. It's cool, huh? It's so cool. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's uh, start your haircut. Um, I just used a 
a small round brush just to smooth out a little bit because we are cutting dry today. So let's start in the tub. We spoke about leaving as much length as we can because we want this to be a haircut that builds on last time, but we're gonna be cutting more elaborate layers. So for me, if you're gonna layer the hair a lot, um, so it doesn't end up being like a, a bell end, you're better off to have the hair worn a little bit longer. I wouldn't recommend the technique that I'm about to do on Pearl for anything shorter than a lob. I'm starting with um, the bangs or the shape around the front is because it's actually going to determine the length in the back and you'll you'll see why in a sec. You've often heard me talk about when I do this you can go as deep back as you like but as Pearl found out from the person who did it for her last time because she was away and she couldn't get here they actually went quite wide and it ended up out here so we need to make sure that we don't go too wide because otherwise this will actually fall out to them. It's not something that I would do on my client um, because I just feel that it just, and that it's a little bit... It's harder to wear. Yeah, it's hard to wear. It's quite strong, like it just sort of, whereas this is seamless, it, you can push it around and wear it different ways. So we're taking more hair from the back, but not more from the sides because Pearl wants to have stronger bangs. The length isn't too bad, so we're not going to take too much off. But we're just going to work that in that triangle section now. Turn the pearl sideways so you can see the angle and the line that I did. There's actually still a lot of texture in that, that fringe in the front. So you can see now when we do that, it's short on the bridge of her nose, but you can see it's long down here on her cheeks. The idea is that it comes in here and pushes from the bridge of the nose outwards and so that you don't have to style the hair. So when we pull this back, it'll actually sit by itself and you can, you can push it around in many different ways. Like you can see there, it sits back here, there. If Pearl were to pull it, one day pull it really far to one side, it looks like a sweat fringe. Pearl could probably wear it this way too because she doesn't have like a strong cowlick. It's a beautiful thing about wearing, like having bangs that are like that because as Pearl said, she found it hard to wear the last time she had a bangs cut by somebody else. And the way I do it, I just feel that it's it's quite versatile. They grow out really well, so less stress for your clients. This section behind the ears, so we're going to section the entire back out. Get her to lean her head towards me a little bit. Middle of the bang, rectangle section, right above the temple on the occipital bone. So we actually have a rectangle. Just head forward for me, boat. You can see that section there. We're going to bring all this in with our bangs. We'll pick the rest up from underneath there. And again, we increase layering all the way to above that bang. We're cutting over the top of it. You can see it fell out there. Now we're going to repeat on the other side. Horizontal section right on the exhibitor bone through the, the temple. Take a little bit from the first section we did as our guideline. And again, soften our cutting line. Cool. And we're moving to the back. Started with our bang. We use that as a guide to find the angle and over direct the sides. 
now we're going to actually bring the back in to that section as well. So what I do is just below the crown here, I take a horizontal section and I comb this forward, mainly just as a guide so I can go through the middle and make sure that I've got a good section of hair to be able to continue this with. And you can see there's just that point there. And then we bring everything again increased to the center till we run out of hair. Let's take a little neater section there, that's better. The crown, once we run out of hair again, I just want to soften that. And I'm going to repeat on this side. There's the point we need to take out and keep increasing that to the middle. One more hair to cut, one cup to soften just so it gives the hair room to move. You should be able to see that now. You're getting that nice, cool movement in through the side. Let's move on to the back. Okay, done the bang, done the top, done the sides. Now we're gonna work down into the back. When I'm doing this, I always like to make sure that the crown is working at natural fall. I don't like to pull hair into the back, it doesn't belong there. Just chin down a little bit, babe, thank you. We're going straight down the middle to start and we just want to work on an angle so that we retain length and we do that by over directing. There's our length from the top. Working within the head shape, we don't want to go out here. There's no hair growing out of a neck. So if we bring this out here, you're going to end up with a hole on the shoulder. So we need to make sure we over direct it back within the head shape over directing the front and the sides to the back. If uh, the hair doesn't reach, then don't go looking for it. it. Tends to end in disaster if we do that. If you think that we've missed it, or it should be there, and if it's not there, there's no hair to cut, there's no hair to cut. Now the tricky part is, from the middle of the ear, we want to comb this back. Middle of the ear, comb back. We need to pick this up in one section to cross check and then to texturize. Cross check. Good. My hands not on there, girl. Hands out, rub hands together, just scrunch that in to really bring that movement that I've out that I've done with the um, iron. And this is all about making it beachy and fun, we don't want it to look over styled. Scrunching it in, I've said it so many times, there's nothing wrong with lobs and bobs, I love them, but you can make young women look really mature, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm 42, however. She's 20. Turning 21 in three weeks. Turning 21 in three weeks. She doesn't want to look 42 years. She's got 21 years to look ahead of that. That's what I love about this makes it a little bit like fun and almost punky. Mm. You know, like you bring this back here. That'd be really fun. It's a shaggy fun. Like layering in the side here with the bangs and you know, Phil, if we you can really see the shape we created when she does this, like if we cut her hair like this, Next it would time. literally set the world on fire. Like can you imagine just like yeah. how fun that would yeah. be just like that? Alright. 
Keep it in mind for next time. Thank you so much, Adam. You I... have been on an incredible journey on YouTube in 2021. Yeah. I think, um, leave a comment in the comments section. Should Pearl remain a brunette? Ooh. Ooh. Some birds in this car, man. <laughs> this is the first time as a brunette. Yeah, this is a big change for me. Get to recreate myself. We could stay and play all day, couldn't we? Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, we're at 2021. Hey, we started with a bang. Some amazing videos already this year. Um, and once again, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos and you like what you saw, you don't think I'm a goof, um, please subscribe. It'll make sure that you get um, kept up to date on all the uh, videos that I'm dropping throughout um, 2021. And if you um, like it, make sure you bash that like button because the algorithm will share it with somebody else inadvertently. Yeah. Thanks for coming in today, appreciate it. Thank you so much for having Always me. Always welcome. Thanks guys, and until uh, next time, it's bye from Canberra, Australia.